everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a what's in my purse video. I am so excited to do this. This is my first time doing one of these videos. I personally love to watch these kind of videos because I feel like even when I'm with my friends or my sister, I don't know why I like seeing what other people carry in their purses. I know when I go out to eat with my friends and their purse is right here and they're like looking through it, I'm like, I want to see too because I don't know. I just think it's so interesting just to see what other people carry in their purse. Okay, in the bag that I'm going to be showing you guys is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This is the Damier. I, I looked up a video on how to say that, but um, I'll put the name of it right here. It is the MM. I love the prints that this bag has. If you know me in real life, you know that I am not one at all to show off at all. So I am not doing that at all in this video. This is just my everyday bag and I just thought it would be fun to show you guys what I carry inside my everyday bag. So I want to mention what I use to really shape my bag. <laughs> if you guys have one of these bags or if you have done a lot of research online before you went out and purchased one, um, some pictures online show how these bags can sag because leather stretches. So my wonderful older sister, when I first got this bag, she recommended that I get a base shaper. So I will show you guys that at the end of this video, how it looks. Um, I got it off of Etsy. We'll get to that part, but I feel like it's so important, especially if you are spending that amount of money on a purse. It is an investment, and so you want to take care of it, and I want it to last and really keep its shape as long as possible. January 29th will actually be a full year that I've had my purse. This was a gift from my husband for our honeymoon. We were on our honeymoon, and we had, of course, being in Los Angeles, there's Louis Vuitton stores everywhere, and he's like, I want to buy you a bag from there. I want to buy you that never full. I want to it was just really sweet and so um i i mean i wasn't gonna say no to it i felt i just felt kind of like am i really about to spend this much money on a purse but it is such a good investment guys i have spent so much money on bags um like they're just like little smaller um inexpensive bags and they've always ripped or just gone wrong in some kind of way um, and this is truthfully my everyday bag. I love the name of it, Never Fool, because I, I pack my bags to the max and I carry everything and anything in my purse, as you guys will see. And I just feel like this bag has never been completely full. I've used this going on trips, going to a plane, road trips. This bag is always jam-packed with stuff. Um, but for good reason. It's a good investment. I love, love, love it. Um, I do recommend it for sure. So let's go ahead and get started with what's actually inside. Okay, so I'm so excited to show you guys what's in my bag. Okay, so first off, I'm just gonna be pulling stuff out randomly. So the first off, what I keep in my bag pretty much all the time, if it's not this and it's just a water bottle, this is something that I picked up at Target. And this is just the, um, the Swell Cup from Target Sip by Swell and it has little donuts on it, it's so cute. And I just keep water in here, I like it because it keeps the water nice and cold. So I always have a water with me. Next thing I have are pens. These, I have so many pens in here. These are actually markers that my sister got me. They're from Erin Condren um, because I love writing in different colors and my planner and all my notebooks that I have. So these are really fun. Next thing that I have, let's see. Okay, so I have my calendar book for 2017. I got this at Marshall's, Little Flamingos. I really like this, and plus I like how it's nice and sturdy. And I always need my planner with me because I write things down. It's easier for me to remember. I just look at it as the days go by just to see what I have going on. This works a lot better for me than putting reminders in my phone. Okay, I do have another notebook in here. This is from Target in the dollar spot. Um, gold and pink and white are like my favorite colors ever. So this I got at Target, like I said, and pretty much I just like write little notes in here about YouTube and video ideas, um, just stuff like that. I, I am such a hoarder when it comes to coffee mugs and notebooks. I don't know why, I just love coffee mugs and notebooks. Okay, so then, um, I have this little makeup bag right here bag right here when I worked at Sephora. It's pretty important stuff. I just have like my um, a wipe to clean off my glasses, a, a gum pack with the receipt in it, <laughs> and then I have um, a pen. 
I have an eyeliner, which is probably not good anymore. Then I, oh, then I forgot I had this. Then I have this perfume by Marc Jacobs. With this perfume, I absolutely love it. I bought it when I was working at Sephora, and just every time I smell it, it reminds me of working at Sephora because just doing our figure eights around the store, I would walk by the perfume, I would have to spray this on me, and just smelling it reminds me of working there and brings back some good memories. Next, um, I just have a bunch of business cards in here for my work. I have these blotting papers that are still new. And then I carry this, oh, mini hand wipes from Target. These were in the dollar spot as well, so I like having those. And then a mirror that says I love Sephora collection. Also got this when I work there. I always have to have like a little mirror on me. With this bag, since it doesn't have pockets, it literally only has this one pocket right here, as you guys can see. I like to have little bags inside of it just to keep everything a little bit more organized instead of everything just rolling around in here. So next, we'll go into this little pocket. I just have a bunch of receipts to like the dry cleaners, Kohl's, home goods, and a bunch of coffee places. Um, I have a hand sanitizer right here from Bath and Body Works. Let's see, um, just more business cards, a bunch of change, and yeah, more business cards. Then I have a lotion from Ulta Beauty. Oh, and I also have, I should take this out. This is my Hourglass um, foundation stick. I went to Sephora to exchange it. But my husband, because it's too dark for me, but my husband gave me the bright idea. He said, you're going to be tan when we come back from Mexico anyway, so you might as well keep it. Um, next, I have keys. I have two sets of keys. This is just for my car. Um, and then this one are keys for my parents' house. When I'm driving and I'm not going by my parents' house, I just like to have one little key on me. Um, and then I got my little pepper spray here because never know when you need to use that. And then I have a selfie stick right here. Um, I used to use this all the time, but I have the iPhone 7, so the iPhone 7 doesn't have the little plug-in for this. Um, I have to bring my attachment with me for my iPhone, so this doesn't get as much use anymore unless we're using someone else's phone. But um, I love taking pictures when I'm with my family or friends. I'm always pulling this out to take pictures, so this comes in handy and it fits inside my bag. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. Next, I have... <laughs> Next I have some chopsticks. Um, I have these in here from when we went out to uh, get sushi a couple weeks ago with my sister and some friends and I have those still. Um, again I have more pens and highlighters. I have a tissue pack that I got at the dollar store. And then I also have some sticky, sticky notes right here that I just like to put in my planner. And I have this little empty case. Usually I fill, I refill this little case with bobby pins, so that way I always have bobby pins with me. But it slides up like this. Uh, oh, and there's a pair of eyelashes on the back. Oh man. I got this back in California when we went to Los Angeles, and it just comes in really, it comes in handy for bobby pins. Um, then another Sephora mirror. My little stylus here, because usually. Because uh, I used to carry my iPad with me all the time, but now it's, since I have my iPhone 7, I don't usually carry it with me. I have another bag with me. This is a really cute Makeup Forever bag that I got when I was working at Sephora. I love this bag. But I carry an excessive amount of lip products with me. I don't know why. I think it's because after I'm done doing my makeup, I'll grab like my lipstick and my lip gloss and then I'll throw it in my purse and I'll just keep doing that every single time and then it becomes this huge bag of like my whole collection in here. So um, a few of my favorites I'll share with you guys is this MAC one that I love. It's in a uh, kind of sexy all time favorite, one of my all time favorite lipsticks and then another one that is my favorite is this L'Oreal Pro Matte Gloss. I love this one. And then one more that I've been recently wearing a lot that I'll share with you guys is this Wet n Wild um, Liquid Matte Lipstick in Rebel Rose. Okay, so the next thing that comes with your purse is this little um, wristlet right here that I absolutely love. This comes in handy all the time because most times um, I will bring my whole purse with me places 
but then sometimes if I'm just running in really fast, I don't want to carry my whole purse. So I'll just pull this out of my purse, leave this in my car, but I'll still have everything with me without concise, without having to concise all of my stuff in just one little purse. Does that make sense? So I love this. This carries like um, a little, some receipts, um, some pocket change in here, my driver's license, my debit card, stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it looks like. I have pretty much packed this up um, so many times before. If we're like going out to eat, I'll put in a hand lotion, I'll put in my lipstick, my lip gloss, a powder, a makeup brush, and it all fits in here. Again, because this stretches, um, but yeah, I love this. It comes in really, really handy when I don't feel like walking in the store with my full purse. That is pretty much it that is in my purse, pretty much empty and now at this point. But now I want to show you guys what I actually have in here. So if I take this out, the tag on here, but this is the base shaper that I was talking about. So I got this, my sister found it for me on an Etsy shop and it's called Divide and Conquer. And um, this is amazing because, so as you guys see in this bag, without that base shaper, this is just what it looks like inside. So there are no side pockets. There is nothing to put dividers in here at all. Again, except for this little pocket right here. This is a little flap that you can like move. Um, really, I never move it at all. You guys see this little chain right here it also has this where you can connect your little wristlet um, just so that way it like stays in here. But since I've had my bag for over a year and I carry so much stuff in it, my bag, the bottom of my bag could be really... The bottom of my bag could be really, really saggy, and I'm gonna insert a picture of bags that don't have a base shaper and how they do look saggy. I think this base shaper literally like, saved a lot of regret later on because I know with the amount of stuff that I carry in my bag that my bag probably would have been sagging down to here. And for me, for spending that amount of money, I don't want my bag to do that. I want it to stay in good shape. I really want it to take care of it. And so if you just um, go without a base shaper, you do run the risk of having the leather stretch and sag, which just in my opinion, I don't like that look at all. I want my purse to keep its shape and to stay looking nice and um, nice and new. I don't want my bag to sag. So that is why I bought this. This was um, a little bit pricey. I think it was like 70 to $80, but compared to the investment that you're making, I mean, you might as well go the extra step if you're wanting to really take care of your bag of this investment piece and to really take care of it. So this, um, as you can see, has many dividers in here. You can let her know, the girl who makes these, what size of bag you have, what color you want. I wanted red to stick with the interior of my bag. Um, but it has dividers that will help to organize inside your bag. Then it has this hard plastic um, inside that helps to keep the bottom of your bag straight and really helps your bag to keep its shape um, so that way the things inside don't sag. So I'm so happy about this. I mean, I highly recommend that if you're going to get the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, that you should get the base shaper. I just think that it's um, a really smart thing to do. So that way your bag does not look um, saggy. So as you guys can see, my bag is about a year old now um, and it's still keeping its shape. I love it. This is such a cute bag. It makes me so happy every time I use my bag. It just reminds me of my husband and how super, super sweet he is for wanting to get me this, something really good quality. If there's anything that you guys take away from this video, I really hope that you guys consider getting a base shaper if you are one who owns this bag or if you're looking into it. Just a helpful idea or tip on this bag. But overall, I do think it's an amazing bag. Another thing that I want to show you about this is that you guys can kind of sh um, change the shape of this. Right now, how it's pointy on both sides. What you do with these two, these two little things right here is if you actually push this down, you actually push this in and kind of fold this like that. 
by doing that it really changes the look of the bag if you wanted it to be more square maybe you didn't want it, it to take up a lot of room or uh, maybe it goes better with your outfit whatever you want to do I very very rarely do this to my bag just because I don't feel the need to do it but if you wanted to this is how cute that looks as well so um, it kind of gives it a different shape, some nice detailing right here, but it does have this little chain right here that you can actually lock it or keep it closed or kind of tighten it up if you're carrying a lot of stuff in here. Um, but these straps are so comfortable and it fits perfectly right onto my shoulder and they don't ever hurt me. I really do love my purse. I really hope this video was helpful and enjoyable for you guys. I will list the base shaper that I got down below in the description box if you guys are interested in that. But I hope this video was fun for you guys to watch and somewhat interesting and of course helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos. So I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Bye!